Hi, welcome to streaming files using WSO2 Enterprise Integrator Demo. Even today, we find files as a popular medium of sharing information. No matter how new technologies are developed for message transmission, file transfer is retained in enterprise. Thus file integration is a part of enterprise integration. Let's consider a practical scenario where file operations are involved. Assume you have a legacy system in your enterprise which generates large files, for example CSV files. The system stores them in a directory of a file server within the enterprise. Now you are doing a legacy modernization, where you need to take a copy of each file to the local file system and process them. You are using WSO2 Enterprise Integrator to achieve this. A scheduled task will pull the files from time to time from the file server and copy them over to local file system. Then it will remove the original file. Later, WSO2EI will read those files one by line, interpret each line as a JSON message and continue the integration. This may sound a complex scenario. However, using WSO2EI file connector, this can be implemented easily. WSO2EI has many connectors. Out of them, file connector is an extension for WSO2EI which enables file system integration. It supports connecting with FTP, FTPS, SFTP and local file systems. It is built using Apache VFS library. First we need to set up our environment. I am using a simple Java code here to simulate a file server that works with SFTP. It runs on port 8001, username is admin and password is admin for authentication. It also needs a key to encrypt the connection. I will quickly show you how to generate a simple key pair. First navigate to .ssh folder. Checking on file connector documentation, you will find the command to generate a sample key. Give a name for the key file. Optionally you can use a passphrase. I am using Hasitha as my passphrase. You need to use this generated public key at the file server. Now let's see how we can generate our integration logic. WSO2 Enterprise Integrator comes with a powerful studio which you can use to develop the integration logic. It is a graphical editor. You can build your custom integration logic just by drag and drop of mediation constructs. Even, you can test the whole integration within Studio itself if you wish. Download and install Integration Studio. Make sure to check for updates. You can start by creating an integration project. Give it a name. Include registry and connector exporter sub projects as well. You will though the project skeleton will get generated. Note that it is a Maven project. Let's start with periodic tasks that invoke the integration logic. Right click on tasks folder and create a new scheduled task. Name it as external file polling task. Define a cron expression so that it will get triggered once every 15 seconds. Then we need to add task properties. We are invoking a sequence we are going to implement next. Its name will be file listener sequence. Let's place a dummy message to invoke this task with, which we will not use anyways. If you navigate to the source tab, you will see XML definition generated. Now let's see how we can connect to the SFTP server we configured. Right click on sequence folder and create a new sequence. We need to call it file listener sequence as it is the name we used when we find the scheduled task. First we will use log mediator and add a custom log saying looking for files. Next, right click on the project and click on add, remove connectors. Browse for file connector and download it to the workplace.
If you check on the panel in right hand side, file connector operations will be available to use. We need to list the files in the remote file system folder. Drag list files operation to the design and create a new file connection clicking on the plus button. Let's name this connection as my SFTP connection as it is connecting to my SFTP server. Select connection type SFTP. Host will be localhost in my case. This is the host name of SFTP server. Port will be 8001. Username admin. Password admin. Working directory as users WSO2 that is where all files and folders related to this integration is residing at SFTP. Point to a private key file. And I used Hasitha as my passphrase. File locking behavior should be local. OK, connection is ready. Now let's configure other properties for file list operation. Directory path should be files. I do not have a pattern to match. Any file is OK for my scenario. I want to list the files in alphabetical order, which is the default. Checking on documentation, result of the file list operation will look like this. It will list each file under an XML tag called file. Now we need to iterate through each life element and move the file. We will use for each mediator for that. As for each expression, place the XPath for file element of list files operation result. For sequence type select registry reference. We need to define a sequence with what to do on each file and point it here. Our next step is implementing a sequence to move each file. Define a new sequence called file read sequence. Let's use property mediator to keep file name we currently reading. Property is like a variable, which we can access later on the flow. Value of this property will be an XPath expression, double slash file, slash text. Let's place a log with the name of the file we are currently operating on. Next, use the read file operation to read the file. We need to use SFTP connection. To construct the file path we need to concatenate slash files slash with the name of the file we are reading. We can read the property and get its value for concatenation. This is needed because our interested files are placed in a directory called files at SFTP and our connections working directory is just pointing to WSO2 directory. If you check on read modes available, you will see that you can read either the whole file, some part of the file specified by lines, or only metadata of the file. You can also specify the MIME type of the message WSO2EI should convert the file content to. For my use case, I will enable streaming, as I do not need to interpret the content of the file. For the MIME type specify application binary. That's all we need to configure read operation. Next, drag the write operation to the design palette. We need to specify a new connection as we need to write the content to the local file system. Create a local file system connection called, my local file connection. Now, what should be the working directory? It depends on where you wish to keep your files in local file system. I have created a directory called local file mount, and it will be my working directory for local file system connection.
Now, we will go back to documentation and check some properties that will get set by the file read operation. File path is one of them. It will contain the path of the file with respect to the working directory of the SFTP connection. Here, we will use that property so that when we move the files, same directory structure will be followed at local file system as well. Here also you can define a MIME type for the message, or keep it as, automatic. Then WSO2EI will decide how to format the message content when the message is written as a file. As write modes the operation has, overwrite, append, and, create new. It supports file compress when writing, and also streaming. Let's make it true. I will let the operation to add result of the file write to the body of the message. Here is a sample message that will get added to message body after performing a successful write. If file write is successful, we need to delete the original file. Let's add a filter mediator and check if write result is true. If that is the case, we will use file connector delete operation to delete the file from SFTP server. Choose my SFTP connection as the file connection. We can get the file path from the property. Finally, it is better to add a log to indicate that file is successfully moved. For the else case, we will just add a log stating file move has failed. Then in the next iteration of the task, file will get picked up again. Do not forget to go back to file listener sequence and update the sequence. Choose file read sequence for registry reference. Finally, our integration logic is done. Next step is to package it and run. Before we export the logic, we need to add the imported connector to connector exporter project. Then only we can package and export the connector. Choose and add the file connector from workplace. Now right click on composite application project and export the C app. You need to choose a destination to export. I will choose MI, Repository, Deployment, Server, Carbon Apps Folder. This is where you need to deploy your C apps in WSO2EI server. Choose all the artifacts and click Finish. Now the logic is exported as a deployable C app to WSO2EI server. Before running the application, we need to configure EI server. Open deployment.tamal file. As mentioned in EI documentation, register, binary builder, for MIME type application binary. This is needed to read the file in streaming manner. Let's test our implementation. Copy some files to WSO2 files directory. I have copied some CSV files there. Now let's start WSO2EI server. As the integration logic is already in place, once it get deployed, it will start the task. All the files have been moved to files directory on the local file system. Logs indicate that as well. Now let's place a large CSV file around 5 megabytes to the SFTP server. In a while you will see that it is moved too without any issue. No harm to the file content. Going beyond that, let's place a video file containing a film. It is around 2 gigabytes. You will notice that it will get streamed to local file system as well without any issues.
we have successfully implemented a file streaming scenario using file connector of WSO2EI. Thanks for watching.